you guys, welcome back to Vince Velt Customs. Today I'm sharing with you my Prototype Z Street Fighter Ryu kit. Now, I just got this in today and I had a chance to really look it over. And I really want to get up a video as fast as possible because I'm just, I'm really impressed with the way this kit came out. So, I got number 20 of 150. Uh, he comes with all the basic pieces, got the little plaque sculpted by Eric Sosa. That'll go underneath the base when I'm done like I did with my Sagat kit. And, uh... Basically, I just want to go over the kit with you, so I'm going to scroll the camera down and I'll explain a few things. It's actually really well done, and I think you guys will be really impressed with uh, the way this kit really worked out. It's just amazing. So, basically, uh, you got the base, which is uh, just huge. I mean, it's just unreal. Very nicely done. Not a lot of flashing. I don't see a lot of errors on there. Um, came out really well. This this will make life a lot easier. A uh, little tiny bit of sanding on the bottom here and there, a little bit of you know tweaking, and they're good to go. Now, uh, when I got it out right away, the first thing I wanted to do was make sure that it uh, fits into the base very well. So here's the two legs, which are very well done. Uh, the back of them just got a little bit of uh, flashing on them, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's just a little bit messy, but that's nothing that like you know some sanding can do and all that. But the legs uh, go in uh, very well. I mean, it, this is just you you hardly ever find a kit really well done like this. So basically, the legs go like that, right? And there's a little bit of a seam going around, which is actually very easy to fix. Uh, but basically, what I did was I wanted to see how well it fit into the base and it fits right into the base. It just goes right there. Um, it's a little bit of a gap kind of here and there, but that's easy to fix. But I mean, just turning it like this, it's not falling out or falling down, which is just unreal. It's kind of unheard of with a lot of kits. So, and then I figured, okay, let me see what's next. So I was looking over the, uh, the body and everything. And I was like, all right, let me just see what happens when I put the body on and he stays up. I mean, right there, that's just to let you know it's very well balanced, it stays in there very well, and it doesn't require a lot of work of balancing and everything. Now, I figure with this kit, I really don't think I need the pin. I think all I really need to do is once I get this in, all I really have to do is magnetize here, and I'll probably magnetize a smaller one on this foot. So, basically, you won't have to pin him in, but he'll be magnetized. Um, if I feel that he might fall back a little bit at any point, I can maybe fill up a little A's or something underneath the feet. But that works out pretty cool. So I'm really happy with the way that works. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, now as far as the fireball, as you can see, the sucker's huge. I mean, it fits in my palm. I mean, that's just, just huge. Uh, so basically, I think uh, one of the biggest issues with the whole kit is when you get the hands and the arms, you have to put them in uh, the body like this. And you want to make sure they're sort of straight, but you also want to make sure they're hitting the fireball correctly. So the fireball goes into like the hand over here type thing, and it goes into there. So you got to kind of. This is going to be the biggest difficult part of the whole entire kit. It's just getting this uh, fireball and arms kind of even. Because you don't want to put it together and it's like, you know, going downwards like that. Or it's going upwards. You want to get it straight on. So this is something that's going to require a little bit of tweaking and making sure you're getting it correct. Now, as far as the fireball goes, since there is, uh, it's clear resin and it actually isn't pinned anywhere going in, you actually have to come up with some options. Now you can actually throw a pin in the, into the fireball and you can pin it into the hand and you can glue it at the end. Now you don't want to stick a bright colored rod or a metal rod into there because it'll look weird. But what you can do is you could drill in there and throw like maybe uh, some metallic paint, um, maybe uh, white, you know, because if you're going to make the blue fireball and you would think the inside of it would probably be white and clear so you could kind of get away with just sneaking a little bit in there if you feel that you don't want to ruin it at all you can actually probably just glue this onto the hand when you're done but what you would want to do is you kind of want to make sure there's no paint primer or anything in the hand 
so this way the glue will stick to this and stick to this because you don't want to have primer or paint on the hand glue it and then you pull it off you're basically ripping off the paint you're not having it glued directly to the resin so that's something to think about if you're doing this kit for the first time or if you're just going to be doing a kit and you've done a lot of kits I'm just kind of throwing out my ideas uh, but for me I'm actually going to chrome this because I actually like chroming stuff better it's just it's just what I like to do I have a lot more fun with chroming so basically I'll be able just to throw a pin in there throw a pin in here and just glue it in and I'm done I want to worry now on uh, statueform.com if you go to the Ryu, uh, the prototype Z section uh, in the Ryu thread uh, at a guy named Andrew he uh, is just getting into the hobby and he actually uh, got this going and he came up with the idea of putting a little magnet into here and a magnet into here and he actually set it up where the fireball gets magnetized into the hand which is a really cool idea someone who's new to the hobby just coming up with some fun ideas so good job with that and that's an option for people if you really want to come up with uh, magnetizing because this way you can have the Ryu kit uh, basically going like this with the fireball or without the fireball with the magnet so that's a cool option but I kind of actually want him to have the fireball on it so you know it's to eat their own kit which is a lot of fun the head and hair is pretty cool I like the idea that they cast these up separately because uh, you know if you go to cast up um, hair on a head normally you sometimes it's very hard to get the casting and you lose detail and you get errors or bubbles so it's a really cool idea that they did this separately if you're wondering why they did this separately that's because of the casting purposes is my guess because I've seen a lot of times in kits where you get these really odd bubbles and these little grooves and the cat and you lose hair detail and it makes life a living hell to kind of re-sculpt all that so it's actually a really good idea that they did it this way so and you don't lose any detail it's cool and it actually fits very well um, the only gap I really see is kind of back here but I think that's because it's hitting a little bit of a flashing piece here so that's just some sanding and I'm good to go now your most fragile pieces which is cool is they wrap this up in a little box with the heads is the belt uh, and headbands now these are very uh, thin and fragile, so you got to be careful with these. Now, they're a little bit messy. That's because the smaller something is, the harder it is to cast it. So, but I think they did a very good job with this. So it's just some sanding, and it's pretty cool. Um, if you're into cloth work, actually, you don't even actually have to use these. I mean, if you're into cloth work and you uh, think you can just uh, make some cloth you can actually make yourself a little bit of a real cloth band and put it around here and you actually have plenty of room on the head you can you can get away with it um, even though the eyebrows going over the headband if you could come up with some kind of fabric cloth with a wire you can actually stick it into the back and have it flow out in the back well, that's kind of a cool option too so you can come up with whatever you want but Basically, I think the worst thing about the whole entire kit, because you know you got the good and the bad, is actually it's the mold release. It's very, very, very oily. So I think my uh, past video with Sagat, where I washed him in the uh, Dawn water, probably won't be good enough for this because I can really get a lot of the mold release, you know, here. So uh, Jesse on Garage Kits mentioned that he uh, uses a degreaser, which is a uh, I forget the degreaser's name, but you can get degreaser at an auto store or um, Walmart or whatever, and you can wash it all down and get the degreaser off. Uh, another option is if you know how to work with acetone, which I do work with acetone a lot for my kits, basically I could probably uh, dip this in acetone real quick, wash it with a brush, get it out, and get just, I mean, the acetone would just, you know, basically take it all off real quick. Um, you really wouldn't want to throw these or anything or this in the acetone uh, but I'll do a video on how I uh, come up with this stuff so we'll do a video this weekend on using degreaser and stuff so I give you guys some ideas but if you're a Ryu fan and you really wanted a really cool Ryu statue for your collection this is one kit statue you don't want to miss out on um, first 50 sold out in like I think what like five minutes when they put them up um, so I mean it, it, he's that popular so they're gonna be putting up I think another 50 soon and then they'll throw up the last 50 so once the first you know the 150 are gone that's it 
So don't miss out on these. Go to the Party Type Z website and get them while you can next time they put them up. So uh, hopefully you guys like my review. I'm uh, really impressed with the kit. You know, get out there and get them, dude. I mean, just get these while you can. So don't miss out. Now, uh, Eric, if you're watching this, uh, I'm happy with it. Thanks for doing this stuff. It's really great. And uh, let's get Rose done. We got to get Rose done, and I'm going to throw that plug in every video I can until we get Rose, because once we get Rose done, I'll be having 10 of those in my collection. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.